Hey guys, it's Trapotin. Recently, I was tasked with getting a few programs working in Wine, the translation layer responsible for getting Windows applications working on Linux. Oftentimes, when Wine is a topic of conversation, the first thing that people will bring up is gaming. Most games, especially single-player games, have little to no issues running on Linux. Of course, your mileage may vary, but for the most part, they work very well. Today, I want to dive into specific applications, but most importantly, not video games. I will not be talking about failures as much, because even though a lot of work has gone into making video games working on Linux, not much has been or can be done about non-gaming applications in Wine. Everything from Microsoft's click to run installer, sorts of applications opening to black screens, there's not really much that Wine can do, so it's your biggest indicator that there's nothing that you can do except grovel for support and hope that they work one day. <laughs> it's not a total loss though, because if the right applications can work with the correct tweaks. And today, I'm going to be using Bottles to run Windows applications, and I'm going to be highlighting what it takes to get the chat program Kakao Talk working in Bottles. And for those who haven't heard of KakaoTalk, KakaoTalk is an instant messaging platform, and it's incredibly popular in Korea. In many ways, it's like the WeChat of Korea. It's an everything app that does a lot of things. Now, don't go in expecting any kind of privacy. It's not private by any means, but some people are just shackled to it because of how much of a grip they have on society. But the real reason I'm bringing KakaoTalk is not about its privacy, but installing KakaoTalk in Wine or in Bottles is actually remarkably easy, although it does have some quirks to it. So how do we get it to work in Bottles? The first thing we need to do is we need to download the installer from KakaoTalk's website. I chose the Windows 10 installer, but there's also a Windows 7 and 8 installer for some reason. Bottles is the program that we're going to be using to run KakaoTalk in Wine and it can also integrate with your desktop environment. So you can create a desktop icon that launches KakaoTalk just like you would a normal application. Once you've installed bottles, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to create a new bottle. And creating a new bottle is easy as clicking the plus button and then select application when prompted and give it a name. You can name it anything you want. I named mine KakaoTalk. Once you have your bottle, click on it and then navigate to the ellipsis at the top right of the screen and click on Browse Files. This will open a virtual Windows C drive, so to speak. And this is where we're going to be interfacing with the simulated version of Windows within Wine. Copy paste the KakaoTalk installer into this folder. Yes, there are other methods you can use, like you can use flat seal to open up your downloads folder, but we are not going to be getting into that. I am just doing this for the sake of simplicity because when you are in this folder, please copy the location at the top in your file manager. This is the location that we will need to use to install things. And it's also what we're going to be using to interact with files as if we were installing KakaoTalk on Windows. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a shortcut and then when the file manager menu or portal pops up, what you're going to do is you're going to copy paste the location that you had in that folder and put it into the search bar and then hit enter and then you will have the location of your Windows C drive. Select the KakaoTalk installer and then press the play button to run the KakaoTalk installer. Now the KakaoTalk installer is very unassuming and it's identical to what you would experience on Windows. All you have to do is just mash next and then you're done. Except there's one problem, the desktop icon doesn't get created. What you need to do next is you need to go back to the Windows location that you copy pasted and go continue going down the folders until you get to kakaotalk.exe and then add that as a shortcut and then now you have a permanent shortcut to run kakaotalk. And this is how you're going to run KakaoTalk on Linux. Since KakaoTalk is a Korean application, it's important that we have fonts with support for Korean Hangul, which is the characters of the Korean alphabet. And in order for a font to support this, it needs to be a CGK font, a font that supports Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. And Bottles has an extra package to install some pre-baked CGK fonts, and it's aptly called CGK Fonts. To get to this menu, you want to go to Dependencies, and then you want to search for CGK Fonts and install it. It might take a while. And after it's installed, to make this change, you go to the settings of the KakaoTalk application and click on the gear in the top right corner to get there. 
Then what you need to do is you need to find the menu to change your font and change the font to Source Sans Han. I believe this is correct, but when I tried doing it, it actually showed every single font I had in my computer. And I'm telling you to do Source Sans Han because I removed every single font on my computer just so I could figure out which font it was. Then you'll be prompted to restart Kakao Talk, and bam, you now have Hangul support and your application. <laughs> now, every step to get Kakao Talk to run in bottles is pretty easy to execute, but it's not so easy to implement in an installer in practice. While Bottles allows you to build custom installers, at least in my testing, importing configurations has a double standard versus actually running one of the built-in installers that's inside of Bottles and pre-installed. In the past, I've written installers for Lutris, and Bottles actually follows a very similar format. But that goes without being said, what does it take to actually write an installer for Bottles? And the first thing I wanted to do was dig into Bottles' documentation. Installers for bottles are designed to bypass every step we just did to install Kakao Talk. But the other reason I pick Kakao Talk is because it's a very simple application. It requires very little interaction from users and it largely works in Wine for the most part. Look, go to WineDB. They even have a full thing saying it actually works great. And it's a prime example of what makes a great program to install because the maintenance burden is remarkably minimal and also because the company that runs Kakao Talk has largely left the application unchanged for lots of years. So let's say for example I were to make a Kakao Talk installer. What I would have to do first is go to Kakao Talk's website and find the link where I downloaded the installer. Then I need to create a minimal prefs.ini file without the language restriction, so that way when people install Kakao Talk for the first time, they can specify their own language. In the future, this also might need to be changed so that people can run the installer themselves, or they have to pick the installer themselves, because people have to pick their language when they first install Kakao Talk in the installer. <laughs> Now, back to the Bottles installer, the Bottles installer needs to be written in a YAML file, and it's the same format as other files for the built-in installers and backups, and this is stuff like the Epic Games Launcher, Battle.net. To build your own Bottles install, you're going to need a couple of things. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to populate the top part of the installer, and this is the name, the description, the wine rating, and Windows architecture. I actually copied my information from the WineDB listing, and I based my installer format off of the official battle.net installer. <laughs> and then next, what you're going to require is dependencies. And dependencies are libraries that are supposed to be built into Windows, but will make it easier for you to run Kakao Talk. Internally, this list can be viewed in the dependencies menu in the settings of your bottle with descriptions of each package. And it does require a basic understanding of how Windows app development works and maybe a little bit of experimentation a little bit along the way. <laughs> Then finally, you're going to need some information about your Windows binary, because what happens to your installer file after you've installed it? And this, remember the process where we had to locate the Kakao Talk installer file? This includes the name, a user specified icon for bottles itself, so it looks extra nice and we have a nice looking desktop icon. The name of the executable file, which in our case is kakaotalk.exe, and the destination of the executable prior to running the installer. Finally, we have what's called the steps, and the steps are a series of scripting actions to run the installer or do specific things to complete the installation. So for example, in my Kakao Talk installer, I pulled Kakao Talk's installer from their website. Then what I have the script do is create a prefs.ini file in the folder where Kakao Talk stores its settings, which automatically configures the Source Sans Han font so that the Hangul support of Kakao Talk works out of the box. And then the installer is run so Kakao Talk is installed. Now writing the installer, once you've figured all of this out, isn't horribly difficult, especially if you're used to running configuration files for your window manager, for example. But what's more difficult is running the installer itself, and this is why you probably don't see many other configurations that use Bottles specifically. And this is where I think Bottles needs to change, at least in my opinion. In Bottles, loading a configuration you have previously exported has a double standard versus what's in the actual official installer repository. And this is on purpose to an extent, 
because installers are vetted through the GitHub under the Bottles Organization's Programs repo. Now, to be fair to the developers, when you ship something, it's part of the default build of the program, it needs to be held to a higher standard than what anime characters online can hack together themselves. Now, as an overall installer improvement, I think a big thing that needs to change if Bottles installers right now is that the backup needs to be able to remotely run commands or pull Windows installers from the internet. This is just like what the built-in Bottles installers can do, but not what normal configuration files can do, at least in my experience. It would be a big boon for developers, and it wouldn't require forking the repository to test the installer if there was a framework built into Bottles that allowed users to run installers that they wrote themselves or download pre-configured installers from the internet to make running applications easier. But I don't think this is going to happen anytime soon, and not necessarily for bad reason, and this is probably a reason why this hasn't changed a whole lot. As a project, Bottles development has slowed down a lot, but the developers have been gearing up for some major changes with what they call Bottles Next. Bottles Next is a rewrite of the Bottles user interface and the backend logic to better serve its developers. I'm not going to get into specifics, but what it's basically going to do is it's going to make the user interface and the process of running all of these things a whole lot easier. And since Bottles has gotten some pretty significant sponsorships, they want to put their sponsorships to good work, and right now it's their top priority and essential for the well-being and future of the project that they make this experience better for the developers or for people who want to run applications in Bottles so that there's less friction to get applications working on Linux. It's pretty clear that Bottles believes that they can take development to the next level. But right now, it's a matter of navigating this install process and taking it slow when you try to make your own bottles installer. <laughs> With the right application or game you want to play, you can probably accomplish it. But the developer experience leaves a bit to be desired. And I've experienced a fair share of that myself. But that's why Bottles is being rewritten. And I can't wait until that day comes because maybe then they would start clearing out issues on their GitHub, but they probably won't because they have more important things they can be doing right now. So, with that all being said, if you'd like to take a peek and look at the one GitHub repository that's not my profile, you can go and look at my Kakao Talk installer on GitHub, or you can go to my website in the description and see what I have done. You can also visit my website for a transcript of everything that you see here, or you can also shoot me an email as I've gotten complaints before because I've forgotten to put it in the last couple videos. And as always, if you'd like to support the work that I do, you can always donate me money through Patreon or through YouTube memberships or cryptocurrency. So thank you for watching. And I hope all of you have a happy 2024 holiday season. I will likely be taking a break for at least a week just so I can spend time with my family. And if you celebrate uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or any of the other December holidays, I hope you all enjoy. And go remember what the season's about. Wasting away your life, hacking away bottles.